LeBron James shocked the world. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is LeBron. LeBron James from downtown. And first up, we got the time LeBron taught Courtney Lee a lesson. Nope. I mean, trying to dunk on LeBron is a huge mistake, but an even bigger mistake was the time Yusef Nurkic thought he could stop LeBron. LeBron sees a crowd, he turns the corner and just bullets in a powerful tomahawk slam jam. Damn, Nurkic didn't stand a chance, man. But I mean, LeBron gets in anybody's face. It don't matter how legendary you are. Just look at what he did to the GOAT at number 18. It's in the opening frame. Here's a steal by LeBron. Here comes a show. He's not even looking at the I think he was, was looking, he looking at Michael at, Jordan. I was thinking the same thing. Michael Jordan's a little left of that Charlotte bench. I think that was a look at Michael like, turn out the lights, my friend. <laughs> Staring at MJ like that? That's cold, dog. But not as cold as number 17, the longest shot LeBron has ever made. Man's really hit a buzzer beater from 70 feet away. But I mean, there ain't nothing that Bron has done that surprises us anymore, except for his 16th best moment. Because what LeBron did against the Rockets was ridiculous. Grant, you've been a superstar. You've kind of fulfilled different roles in your career, but there is an art to that. LeBron James. <laughs> they're cutting, they're cutting, they're cutting up now. They're cutting up now. They're, cut, they're having too much fun now. They're cutting up now. No, man, you can't, you can't embarrass me like Damn, that. Damn, that no look three was sick as hell, bro. But number 15, on the other hand, is a disgrace. See, back in 2012, LeBron humiliated his opponent so bad, it's all he's remembered for. They went out and did Hamilton, hopefully another scoring option and a different way to score coming off baseline. <laughs> oh, he does it again. Throws it right up on the rim. James comes flying in from the right corner. And another dunk. Man jumped over John Lucas and hit the perfect dunk. Ridiculous. But I mean, this wasn't the first time he annihilated his opponent. Because for number 14, we got LeBron James violating an all defensive player of the year. Oh, that comes out on LeBron. Now they switch it. Here's Pierce again. A Smith screen. Hoji will defend. Oh! getting bodied by young Bron. That shit still gotta hurt him. But anyways, for LeBron's 13th moment, we got something special. The time LeBron James decided to humiliate his opponent and his teammate at the same time. And Philadelphia up by behind the back, it again. And it goes through Thompson's legs. Look at that, it goes through Thompson's legs. Wow, I like this one too behind his back. Come on, Bron. How you gonna nutmeg your own teammate? That ain't cool, dog. But it's also a good thing he makes up for it with his crazy vision. Cause for our 12th best moment, we got the time LeBron pulled out one of the greatest assists in NBA history. Got him! My man really had the whole stadium looking the other way. But an even more ridiculous moment is number 11. It was the 2018 season, Cavs versus Celtics, game seven, with LeBron James decided not to only humiliate Terry Rozier once, but twice in just a few seconds. So here naman mga classmates application na to. Ang maganda kapag register pa lang natin, meron na po tayo agad marireceive na lib. Game stolen by Rozier. Three on one break for Boston. Rozier to the basket. Oh, blocked by James. He did it again. Well, full disclosure though, Mike, he did it again because he turned it over. I love what he did afterwards. Stayed down the floor with a stare down. Look at this dude. My man's is really standing there just staring into his soul. All right now, we're halfway through the video. So we're about to take this shit to a whole new level. And what better way to start than the time LeBron James murdered Jason Terry? Yeah, murdered. See, back in 2013, Jason Terry thought it was a good idea to try and disrespect the GOAT, LeBron James. Tonight, Jason Terry, good defense. Way from behind, takes it away. Tomers, oh, dunk this ball. Right. Just watch as they lay it up there. Watch this. 
Jesus, LeBron really tried to kill that man, but he put the cherry on the cake after the game. Did you even see Jason down there? Yeah, I seen him down there. Yes, you didn't see me. LeBron just isn't human, man. But I mean, LeBron has been shocking the world his whole career. And what he did at his ninth best moment had Steph Curry proud. He can send multiple players at LeBron. Down to five. Down to three. Make somebody else beat you. three on the way. He got it! Make somebody else beat you. Take the ball out of his hands. The game is over. Yes, it is. But what LeBron did at number eight had Curry all the way messed up. It was a do or die game. Lakers versus Warriors, 100 to 100. When LeBron James got the ball from deep. Tied up by Green, throws it back up top. James puts up the three. Oh, it's gone! LeBron James from downtown! Game winning three from way downtown against Curry? How you like that feeling, Steph? Huh? That's right. It's time you get a taste of your own medicine. But I mean, this ain't the first time LeBron has been all up in Curry's face. It was game six of the 2016 NBA Finals, Cavs versus Warriors, when LeBron felt the need to put some extra spice into that rivalry. It's Bedlam here in Cleveland. Curry blocked by James. Making a statement on both sides of the floor. Says to the two-time MVP, get it out of here. Not on my watch. Oh, come on, Brian. The block and the trash talk? That was a straight-up violation. But, I mean, it's a good thing they put that beef aside. All right, now, for our sixth moment, we got something special. Because you're about to see the time LeBron James hit one of the toughest shots in his NBA career. Seconds left on the 24-second clock. LeBron against the long arm to Reza. In trouble. Oh, my! Oh, oh gonna go off you see the shot clock up there one second on the clock he had to shoot it high in the air to get it over the corner of the backboard lebron is really a different animal the shit he comes up with doesn't make sense like how he does some of these plays are mind-blowing but no matter how sick that shot was it's not as close as our number five moment see in game two of the 2018 playoffs lebron did something that is just unhuman he hit six yes six fadeaways in the fourth quarter to completely dismantle the raptors Picking up the third was a big call early. James with a bucket. He's got 30. Their effectiveness on the offensive end in the regular season was fading. What a shot. He's just toying with He's trying to argue with him. Here's LeBron fading shot. And the soft rims. Just unfortunately. Fourth quarter overtime shot just eight to 38. Defensive, I'm talking about the first 24 minutes. Penetration, doing what he wants to do. Look at the Raptors bench, man. They really had enough. But anyways, for our fourth moment, we got to talk about LeBron's biggest hater, Skip Bayless. This dude has really made it his life mission to discredit LeBron James at every chance he gets. I mean, the dude doesn't even have him in his top five all-time greats. That's just sick. But the most ridiculous statement Skip Bayless has made during his crazy career is saying LeBron James has no clutch genes at all. LeBron James, as great as he is, as gifted as he is, was not born with a clutch gene. All right, dog, whatever you say. Rashard Lewis playing off the ball. Lewis gets it to LeBron for three for the win. Yes! LeBron James at the buzzer! As the Cavaliers! Here comes the throw to the throw deeper. Got the angle, gets his eyes fired by LeBron James! He decompressed it with three seconds left. Oh. Screen set for LeBron James. Going to work. Fires winning. The water! A water down! Walk off! Playoff winner! One point five remaining. James for the win. It's gone. LeBron James. Stuns the Chicago Bulls and the series is tied at two games apiece. Now we're entering the top three best moments of LeBron's legendary career. So we're about to light this shit up. And what better way to start than the time LeBron James trash talked everyone so hard he had to hire a shrink. It was the 2006 NBA playoffs, Cavs vs. Wizards, when all Gilbert Arenas had to do was hit one free throw. But right before taking his shot, LeBron decided he wanted to play a little game. One, one remaining. Washington, by the way, still has a foul to give. And 
Cleveland. They'll call timeout after this free throw. Amos misses both, and Elgowskis calls timeout with 14.1 remaining. And right back in the hands of LeBron James. Here's your trap. They get it out of his hands. Hughes, Damon Jones puts it in, and the Cleveland Cavaliers advance to the second round. Damn, this dude really bullied a grown ass man so hard he had to hire the best mental coaches to get over that free throw. That's tough, man. I mean, it can't get much better than that, right? Well, it can. Because for number two, we got the most epic comeback story in NBA Finals history. See, if there's anything LeBron is known for, it's to shut people the hell up. See, after game four of the 2016 NBA Finals, with the cast being down 3 1, Clay Thompson thought it would be a good idea to trash talk LeBron. I mean, guys talk trash in this league all the time. You know, I'm just kind of shocked some guys take it so personally. Personal. You know, it's a man's league, and I've heard a lot of bad things on that court, but obviously people have feelings, and people's feelings get hurt, even if they're called a bad word. I guess his feelings just got hurt. And you can see from LeBron's reaction to it, Clay Thompson has stepped out of bounds. What did you say Clay said? Clay said, I guess he just got his feelings hurt. <laughs> He's the first guy in NBA history to lead a final series in every statistical category, points, rebounds, assists, block, he beat a 73 and nine, the greatest regular season team in history. So when you think about all the great players, none of them had finished first on every single ballot. And what did LeBron do? He did that! Yeah, you don't talk shit to Bron, because he will clap back. But that's not LeBron's most shocking moment, because what he did in game seven of the 2016 NBA Finals is the greatest block in NBA history. Irving drives, hot step inside, floats it up, misses, rebound taken by Iguodala. Iguodala to Curry, back to Iguodala, up to the layup, oh, blocked by James! LeBron James with the rejection. Good night, Cleveland! That is for you! That block was crazy, man. But you know what else is crazy? This video right here. 